welcome back to the channel. It's so good to be sitting here in front of you guys again. I'm so excited um, for today's video and many more to come as well. I know the previous ones were more so about fitness, about working out, nutrition, but I feel like so much has changed since then. There's so much more to life and that's what, that's what this is about. It's about sharing my journeys of overcoming anxiety, being more confident, building the, the life and the relationships that I want, family, friends, partners, and life has just been so good. It's just been so good, I feel like I can't not share it. If it helps anyone, if it shines some light on anyone's situation, to tell them that it's okay, you're not alone, Oh, that would mean more than anything to me just to be able to help but I, if it doesn't it would just be so cool to look back on this video two years from now and see how far I've come to think that back then when I was filming that video I thought I knew a lot and now two years later looking back you're like you knew nothing <laughs> you knew absolutely nothing and I think that's the beauty of life life so much better lived with love and care and together when it's shared so that's what these videos are going to be about it's just going to be about me sharing my journey not that i know all and not i'm some sort of guru now it's just that i'm just so happy and i just wanted to, i just want to share these things with, with people so if you can relate if you want to listen then i hope you enjoy these videos all right so today we're going to start off with like a, a short chill topic it's not really chill it's quite a serious topic that i know a lot of people go through and so i just want to tell you that before we start off it's all good it's all good i made this little board <laughs> it says it's all good so it's more so that i need to hear that than anyone else does but anyway so anxiety how to get over anxiety um, I like to preface this to say that I'm not completely free of anxiety. I am the queen <laughs> of being too harsh on myself, um, feeling like no nothing's ever good enough and sometimes that is to our detriment. Like I've had so many days where I've done every single thing on my checklist and I still feel like I could have done them better. And tomorrow's another day to grind yourself into the ground to try really hard to to be stressed like if you weren't stressed at the end of the day you hadn't tried your best so that was me for a really long time and I refused to be any other way I thought that if I didn't get stressed how will I know that I've tried my best I realized and asked myself why I was doing that why do you feel like you have to try your best every day? And the answer was, I wasn't pleasant. It was, it was a tough one to swallow, but that if I wasn't the hardest working person in the room, that I wasn't worth having around. That if you were not useful, then you were useless and I'm like let's not fucking be useless that's definitely not what I want to be so let's try our best to be useful and helpful and be of service and I'll still come back at the end of the day and I'll be wrecked and I'll be like I don't even know if I did anything right so well, the one thing that's really helped me get out of that cycle was to seek seek validation really and I thought to myself like who do I seek validation from why am i trying so hard for so i thought and i was like well everyone else is telling me i've done a good job my friends and my family and my performance review have told me that i'm doing a good job but it's like i could hear the words from people telling me i was doing a good job but i couldn't believe it if that makes sense i wasn't internalizing it i couldn't feel it um and i realized at the end of the day the one person that i seeked validation from was um was myself I had never told myself I'd done a good job. I never told myself that I was good enough and that despite whatever happened in the day, I tried my best and I was still worthy of love. That I deserved to love myself still, regardless of how I did. Oh, it crushed me. Like, even saying those words out loud, then it was just like, I hope no one heard that. You know, I felt like it was such a lie. I just. Anyway, a point is that 
when I started telling myself, being kind to myself in my head, so many things changed for the better. Just being not negative to yourself, if that makes sense. Yeah, that was a big part of me getting over my anxiety, was just to be kind to myself in my head and just be my own best friend instead of being my harshest critic. Because it's so funny how we're so nice to everyone else, but we're so harsh on ourselves. Um, so eliminating the words like, what's wrong with you? What a retard. <laughs> Come on, you worthless piece of shit. Um, and just things like that, just removing that vocabulary from my mind has made such a difference. And saying like, come on, come on, you can do it. <laughs> Put your back into it. And literally, these are the things I say in my head right now. It's absolutely embarrassing. I wish there would never be ever be a microphone strapped to my head to hear these thoughts. But um, it's so much more fun. And I feel less pressure now because I'm not giving myself the pressure. No one else is giving me the pressure. I was still getting all the jobs done anyway. Um, it's just that at the end of the day, I come home and be like, I've still done just as much work if not more and I've made so many more memorable moments because I had fun I was happy and I could share those moments and be in those moments with everyone else instead of just judging myself for how I am how I was and how I'm going to be so that's the tip number one that I have is just to be kind to yourself in your own head and tip number two is just a really quick and simple one that's just to not expect perfection from every day. Now, what is perfection like? What is the point of having done everything to routine, put yourself through so much stress, and at the end of the day, you come back to the people you love the most, your friends, your family, and you're an absolute bitch to be around. <laughs> it's, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. And you, everyone strives under care and love everyone does better when someone believes in them and so why not be the person that believes in you well perfection is trying your best every day and sometimes trying your best also means being your own cheerleader and saying that you can do it put your back into it <laughs> you got this and it's all good if we drop a ball or two we'll pick it up tomorrow we pick it up tomorrow because this is not the only thing that's going on in my life i've got friends i've got family i've got other interests and the other things that i want to excel in life too i don't want to be a work zombie and so perfection of being in even in a role being a mom being a daughter being just just be you and understand that the person that you need to seek validation from the most is yourself so whatever you do does not really matter to anyone else it matters to you so you you know, just, just start telling yourself you've done a good job, it's okay, um, yeah, look, I'm flawed, I know I don't do this perfectly, I could do it better, so work on it. Instead of, like, reprimanding yourself for doing something terribly wrong or less than, uh, less than up to your own standards, tell yourself, alright, let's work on it, what can I do tomorrow differently that will help me get closer to being better? And that's so much more productive and... The way you are to yourself, what someone is on the inside is what they're going to be on the outside. If you squeeze an or orange, orange juice is going to come out. If you squeeze someone with self-doubt and self-pity and pain, that's going to come out into other people as well. Um, and you, Yeah, I'm probably not going to share <laughs> the terrible thoughts I have about people sometimes. I judge. Oh, because I judge myself so much. It's only natural for me to judge other people sometimes like oh my god like she's dragging her feet like she's chewing with her mouth open oh my god <laughs> you know a little things like that it's because I judge myself so harshly so and it's okay everyone's learning so those are the two things that I would share with you today to slowly work on getting rid of anxiety and just to be a happier and just be a happier person so I'm going to leave you guys with that today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Be well, everyone.